The controversial debate rages on this year. Should you call it Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year? Who knows? Maybe by the end of this video, we come to a solution. Yeah. Well, you know, the truth is it probably depends. Wow. But guess what? The debate rages on every single February on Reddit, Andrew. This time it was framed in the sense of sinophobia. Let's look at the viral post. It says people are trying to erase the phrase Chinese New Year. Let's run the clip in question. Even during Chinese New Year, the biggest holiday for Chinese people, Chinese New Year. When we see each other during Chinese New Year, the way we greet each other is we say, Gong Xi Fa Cai or Gong Fa Choi in Cantonese. I'm sure you've heard that, at least peripherally, right? Gong Xi Fa Cai, Gong Xi Fa Cai. Gong Xi Fa Cai means hope you get rich. <laughs> That's not Happy New Year. <laughs> Do you understand the go-to phrase during Chinese New Year isn't, hey, Happy New Year. It's, yo, hope you get rich. <laughs> hope you get rich, hope you get richer than all these other motherfuckers. Hope you get so fucking rich, man. Hope you get rich and also hope, you better hope I get rich. We got ho hope each other, we got both get rich together. Oh my goodness, Andrew, Ronnie, Malaysian Chinese always sparking it up. I mean, uh, long story short, Andrew, this naming thing has become a proxy war for a lot more than just the name, right? Yeah, it's definitely fueled by geopolitical beefs and things that are going on over in the motherland country because this is a traditional holiday that comes from Asia, comes from China originally, but obviously we understand that a lot of different cultures, they do celebrate it but with their own, with their own twist. Right, their specifically own way. what? Vietnamese and South Koreans are probably the next two biggest, right? Right, right, right. And then obviously a lot of Chinese overseas in like Malaysia, Indonesia, but they'll probably call it Chinese New Year. 50-50, I don't know. Hey, shout out to Tet, shout out to Salil, yeah. Chuck McNamoy. David, David, it's not Tet, it's Dut. Right, Dut, 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 and Salil, which is Sehebog yeah. Marabaraseo. Uh, so I think... My overall take, and I get that people debate this all the time because there's all these comments that are like, no, it's not Chinese New Year. Or no, I don't care. I'm not going to call it Lunar New Year. I'm calling it Chinese New Year. That's where it came from. So I guess like both people are right. It's obviously that it's not, you can't say that it's not Chinese New Year because it is, but it's also other things as well, you know? So we are going to get into the weeds of it, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But you know what is not controversial? Small ass sauce. Check it out. Almost sold out. Please get yours right now. All right, back to the proxy war thing, Andrew. Um, people are trying to separate always from the ancient Sinosphere, right? We'll just pop up a map. Like, yeah, yeah. China was incredibly influential yeah. in the ancient days, yeah. right? Still influential to this day. But, but now there's a lot of modern day geopolitical beef. Mm. And there's only one word for Chinese, Andrew. There's no, like, ancient Chinese civilization word, modern word, right. CCP word, Chinese Malaysian word. It's all just Chinese and China. There's only one word. I guess we're not calling it, like, Han... New Year. I don't think that would be any more helpful. In Malaysia, they call it Hua Ren Xing Yan. So they have some Hua Ren. But, but right. then everybody's got to learn Mandarin and know what Hua Ren is. David, I, I kind of look at it like fried rice or egg rolls. I think pretty much everybody understands that those things originated from China. And, and it's not wrong to call those things Chinese, but the Filipino lumpia and the Vietnamese jazo are by all means, to me, superior egg rolls even though the basis of it comes from China. Yeah, so, I would say they taste better yeah. than the- and, than... and everybody has their own fried rice. It, it, it seems like the egg fried rice originated from China, but Koreans do kimchi fried rice, which is delicious. Vietnamese have theirs. Malaysian have their fried, Indonesian fried rice is delicious, but it probably stems from originally Chinese. Now, not to say that you have to call it Chinese fried rice every time or Chinese egg rolls. I don't think you have to. So I guess that's kind of like- Sort of how I'm looking at it nowadays, you know what I mean? Right. Um, I think that it is true, though, Andrew, that although there's all these things that's like it's so complicated, you could argue the history or the etymology or the root of things, the companies probably more so cater to Chinese New Year, right? Yeah, so I think this is where this is actually a pain point for a lot of like, I would just say Vietnamese people or Korean people who celebrate. I think it's a pain point because when the companies are trying to sell something, when Lululemon wants to sell something, when Godiva wants to sell something, when when all these Gucci LV brands want to come out well, with their- Like half the consumer brands have some Lunar New Year collection, but it doesn't, it looks very Chinese, when right? When Hennessy throws big parties for Lunar New Year, 
they, I believe most of the time, call it Chinese New Year. They'll say Chinese because that's the market with the biggest purchasing power. And here's the thing. If you don't call it Chinese New Year, some of the big Chinese, uh, I guess, rich Chinese people won't like it because they'll be like, well, why are you calling it Lunar New Year? Just right. call it Chinese New Year. But I've been noticing that brands in the past three years, or let's be honest, post-OVID, post ovid 19 have been more they've been more going with lunar new yeah, year because I, and this is what i think the original op was referring to was the sinophobia from ovid 19 mixed with the geopolitical beef mixed with the people trying to separate themselves from the ancient sinosphere it's just they feel like it's a lot of persecution you're saying due to the fact that chinese or china is not any more liked or or cooler in the past 5 years so therefore more people are going to be rolling with the, I guess, the anti-Chinese way of saying the new year, which is Lunar New Year. Right, right, right. Like we said, the West in general has soured relationships with China. I mean, at least frenemy, but probably increased on the rivalry enemy side, right? Um, other Asian souring relations with China, specifically mm -hmm. disputes over the South China Sea, and people feeling like China is just becoming too powerful, so it's okay to punch Dang, up. It's right? kind of like Christmas when people started calling it Xmas, I remember at church they were like, "No, they're trying to delete the and this, Christianity and this is out the of Asian it." Church, by the way, yeah, right? they're like, "No, they're trying to take out the Christ out of Christmas. Don't let them do that. Don't call it Xmas. If you're Christian, you got to call it Christmas, right?" right. And uh, so I guess it's kind of one of those. I guess it's one of those situations. But I will also say it. 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 It, it definitely. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess it's interesting. So huh? who's caught up in this, Andrew? Chinese Southeast Asians who really have a lot of ancient Southern Chinese culture, but absolutely zero relation to the modern government. They're like living as Chinese in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. And they're just like, yeah, but I'm Chinese. What's wrong, so wrong with that? I have nothing to do with that. Uh, so that confusing, yeah, right? Yeah, but then that's also the whole thing of Chinese versus China, There's no right? other words, right? There's Chinese versus China. There's no, like, you... Chinese actually does not equal China, which is the interesting part because Chinese people are all over the world. But it could equal China. It could, but it doesn't necessarily, you know? Um, ABCs who have no clue what's going on overseas in Asia in general, they're like, wait, why am I? Is, that, is it okay for me to say it? I'm yeah. just like familiar with my second, third, fourth mm -hmm. gen upbringing. Um, mainland Chinese who want to be proud underneath attack and they're engaging in the proxy wars, mm. identitarian proxy wars yeah, yeah. with like Vietnamese or Korean people. Um, I would say it's not that serious ultimately, but I feel like some people were even saying like, if you correct me on me calling it Chinese New Year, I'll cut you out of my life. Wow. wow so it is, wow. Some, it is serious. Well, some David, we're going to get into the comments section, but you guys want to know one little funny fact? And I don't know if this really matters, but it's technically not even Lunar New Year. It's technically not right, Lunar New right, Year. Because if you base it off the moon, then it gets a little bit wacky, it's right? It's Lunar Solar. Lunar Solar New Year. It's a hybrid year. calendar. It's actually, technically, if we want to get technical, it's the Lunar Solar calendar. Yo, why don't we call it Lunar Solar New Year? That is the most scientifically accurate term. Lunar New Year is not accurate because there's actually multiple lunar new years that people celebrate right, from the middle east and yeah stuff it's like lunar that. solar lunar solar new see man we don't guys even need that. that's is... the solution it's not lunar new year all we right, got it all wrong let's get into some interesting comments somebody was saying and this is true i looked this up five years ago if you typed happy chinese new year into iMessage around this time only Chinese New Year would trigger the animation, but nowadays Lunar New Year and Chinese New Year trigger that iMessage mm -hmm. firework celebration. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that go to show you things have changed in the past five years? Yeah, 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 yeah. For um, sure. Of course, there's people arguing it is Lunar New Year. I mean, I think that, you know, especially a lot of Vietnamese people, they feel very passionate about this right now. There's a lot of beef going on right now over waters. Yes. So, um, but then a lot of people going back and forth being like, hey, why don't I just call it what I want to call it? And then you call it what you want to call it. I don't think this is wrong. I mean, listen, everybody knows what you're referring to. If Vietnamese people want to say, hey, you know, I don't exactly celebrate Chinese New Year. I celebrate that. I'm like, yeah, because you guys have your own customs that are a little bit different. Now, the Zodiac is similar, but you guys have slightly different animals. One animal's different, yeah. Yeah, a couple animals are different, and then you do things a little bit differently. You guys eat different food because you're Vietnamese, and you're eating Vietnamese food, so that's cool. So I'm like, that's fine. But 
don't, it's not not Chinese New Year. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. It's Chinese New Year. Somebody For said me. it's not the antithesis. It's being inclusive. Sorry, you basically think that it's xenophobia and not done for inclusivity reasons. It totally is. So the truth is some people don't want you to call it Chinese New Year for xenophobic reasons, but a lot of people just want to call you to call it it for inclusive reasons. And that goes back to your Xmas versus Christmas versus winter solstice versus winter mm, holidays point. Wow, wow, wow. David, this comment, though, brings up another point. A possible new solution, guys. Read this comment. Actually, as a Chinese, I don't know where this Chinese New Year versus Lunar New Year thing is coming from. In China, people actually call it the Spring Festival. Chuanjie, right? So if we just call it Chuanjie, well, not in Chinese, but if we called it Spring Festival in English. Ooh, Asian Spring Festival. Asian Spring Festival. Is that wrong? That's technically accurate. But then not all Asians celebrate Spring Festival. Well, it is true. And by the way, guys, don't get offended. It's countries that used to be part of of the ancient sinosphere. But Spring Festival, if you celebrate the Asian Spring Festival, un unless the Asian Spring Festival means something different in like the Philippines or Cambodia or something, you know what I mean? Maybe they Thailand has their own Spring Festival. Eastern Spring Festival. Yeah. Lunar Solar Spring Festival. Oh my God. Lunar Solar Spring Festival. Yeah. But hey, Cambodians, Kamai, they have their own new year. I right. believe it is their own. They definitely own that one. This guy said, uh, I see both sides, guys. Let's just keep the context in mind. If you're talking to other Chinese people, you can call it Chinese New Year. But then when you're talking to everybody else, call it Lunar, Sooner, Lunar New Year for the sake of inclusivity. But you know, even within Chinese, sometimes it gets complicated. Andrew, if you say like Xing Nian Kuala to a Cantonese person, they're just like, why didn't you just say Sun Nin? And you're just like, dude, listen, man. Um, you know, there's just so much like inter beefs. How and do so you many share sub -sub something? How, how can everybody just share the? You new know what? Oh. You know at this point about taking the context and the audience into mind, it's actually super logical if everybody was neutral and unemotional about this issue, but people are emotional and not super neutral on this. How about issue. people just not be so emotional about this? Right. Um. Somebody said that there's a difference between Western sinophobia and just inter Asian beef. That is true. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, it's not necessarily xenophobia in the same way because that's putting it on a Western lens. It's kind of like, it's just like rivalry, competition. Um, there is some, I, I, I think you can be an Asian and still be xenophobic in a different way. I think it's possible, but yeah. I, I, I It's complicated within Asians. I mean, I think I see some, you just see a variance across the board, but it's definitely a fraction. Yeah. Um, ultimately, this person said, uh, you know, I'm part Chinese myself, but I'm part Lao, I'm part Vietnamese, I'm part Malay. I have people in my family that are Korean. It's so interesting. It's like a circle. People want to be more inclusive, but then in the course of not acknowledging the diversity of our community, we end up being seen as a monolith again and eliminating all the nuance, Mongolian New Year, Tet, Salal, Chinese New Year, and then it just all becomes Lunar New Year. Because actually Mongolians have one called... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta mess up the pronunciation, Sang, Sang Sar. So I'm saying that basically it's so confusing because China was so influential in the past, but it's so hated in some ways in modern day. So when you're dealing with the ancient past and then this modern day and then like all these layers in between, everybody's tapped into a different layer. All right, I got this. I got, I got a solution. I got a solution, David. I have a solution to all this. Chinese government and just like all the rich Chinese people, they hire a bunch of Koreans to rebrand and make Chinese New Year cooler so that people don't hate it as much. <laughs> it makes sense. Because Koreans got the branding game on lock. So you, you got to go hire them as consultants. Right. Are you talking about like how Chris Wu and Jackson Wang were like trained in Korea? You have to train the Chinese New Year in Korea to bring it back to China so that everybody can enjoy it. Oh, and then you hire Japanese designers to do the aesthetic pack, to redo oh. the aesthetic pack so it doesn't look so ancient. And oh, then you get man. Viet's to throw the night club, uh, the club nights. David, David, how do you feel about it? What, what's your solution? What's your personal? How are you going about life and calling it? Because we talk to uh, all different types of Asians. And we know I have a lot of Viet friends. Right, right, right. Um, For me, man, if somebody wants to make it a big deal, I just call it Lunar New Year because I'm just not even trying to make it a thing. You know what I mean? But like, 
I could see the wow, Chinese. You're so Chinese I, for that. I could see the Chinese perspective where it's like, man, we created it and we created that calendar and we created the zodiac, and then we can't even get credit for it in the West because everybody thinks we're whack and we're not cool or we're like the ancient grandma that like got excommunicated from the you know what I mean? The you know what I'm saying? Like where it's almost like you're so influential, but then you're taught to kind of like downplay yourself because you're yeah. not cool. Yeah. Whereas yeah. everybody else can upplay themselves because they're a smaller group. And then, you, but it's like, are we supposed to downplay ourselves like, like in the way that like Anglo-Saxons or like, I guess prior to that, Greek people or Roman people dominated the Western civilization, but then they, they can't be, say it anymore either. But I don't think we ever were in that position that mm. like where like Anglo people have to downplay themselves. You know what I mean? With the Christmas yeah. and the Xmas. It's, it is confusing yeah, yeah, yeah. because everybody perceives, like I said, there's so many hyper- there's so many layers of this argument and everybody's tapped into a different geometric plane and they don't really intersect. Yeah. It's almost like, you know what I mean? Like you could be just tapped into like, it seems super unfair for the Chinese kid not to be able to call it Chinese New Year, but everybody could call it Vietnamese or Korean New Year in a micro, but in a macro sense, everybody else, the inclusive argument makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So it depends on like, I guess like your scope and your focal length that you're viewing the issue at mm. or like, what is your goal? So I don't know. I just think that these things, they always exist. Andrew, Andrew, did you know there's a big fight right now? Is Giannis Greek or Nigerian? You know, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, is he Greek or Nigerian? If you look in the Instagram comments, let me tell you, there's no agreement on who gets to take credit for how great of a yeah, basketball. It's play. the classic like people look at us and be like, oh, you guys are just American, just like everybody else, and we're like, I don't know. Right, the we're French Chinese national players is that a is that a win for Africa or is that a win for France yeah. when France wins the World Cup but all the players are from Africa? Uh, it's hard to simplify things nowadays. For me, I think that. I'll be cognizant about the audience that I'm speaking to. Um, but at the end of the day, the way I celebrate it, I celebrate Chinese New Year. Like, we will say it in Chinese. Like, I'm Lunar New Year, in a way, it is an all-inclusive term, so I'll use it. But it doesn't fully mean anything to me. Because it's like, what is Lunar New Year? It's a more general. Is it the term. red packets? That's fine. But does the red packet say Chinese or Vietnamese on it? Or does it say English on it? Or does it not have any words on it? You know what I mean? Right. Is the Hong Bao like, you know, so I celebrate Chinese New Year, but obviously I'm not going to tell Vietnamese people that they celebrate Chinese New Year. They celebrate Tet because it's a little different. Right. And I'll just say, hey, it's a similar thing. You guys understand, like, whatever, it's similar. Fried rice, this is from China, but it's everybody has their own version. Right. I like the, I like Korean fried rice better, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. But I think, I think I'll say Chinese New Year. But if anybody, and no one can tell me I'm wrong for that. Right. But I'm not gonna tell them to say it either. Yeah. I'm not gonna be I, like, yo, <sighs> Koreans, you celebrating Chinese New Year? I'm gonna be like, nah, you doing your thing. It's kind of weird that Asians get caught up in this English nomenclature, like point scoring for like identity points or like. Um, contribution points or something it's so weird but it is we are all living in the west i would i think all chinese people i don't even say chinese new year to other chinese people i say like sunny and phi log or right, you say it in chinese yeah. i say it in chinese even to other abcs right. which is even a little weird for me right yeah. but like i mean like it seems like a little bit more rare to do that mm -hmm. but it's like i just don't it doesn't even make any sense to me to say happy chinese new year to another chinese person in english yeah yeah i do think people who make this a big deal are um there definitely have some other deep rooted feelings about Chinese. That's not right. like if you get pissed about it, then you feel offended by like just Chinese culture in general or Chinese people or China in general. You know, but taking it out of that, I don't think it's a big deal. So I'll say Chinese New Year. I'm not gonna correct you. I'm not gonna be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Remember it's Chinese New Year. But also if you tell me, hey, don't call it Chinese New Year, I'll be like, well, I mean I can call it what I want. And I can, that is also an accurate description of it. So like we said, I mean, everything in 2024, Andrew, with magnetism, with gravity, it is getting jujitsu or judoed to push other people's agendas or, or like you said, deeper. But, but you know, what's feelings. even a, a more tight knit Asian thing to do is to be an Asian on Asian and be like, yo, you celebrate new year and it's February. Just and then they, you just know it. Just say new year. You hey. just know, you just know. Hey, hey, just say new year. Hey, hey, quack. Kwok Hoa, you, you, uh, you celebrating the new year? How's your new year? And it's like February, and you already know it's that new year. No, it's kind of fire. That's kind of fire. If because all that's just, how you know. Yeah, if you just dab each other up and say happy new year, you don't even got to say lunar and new year. You don't say none 10th, of that. 
and you go up to a Korean, a Japanese, even. I mean, I know a lot of Japanese people don't they celebrate switched, it, yeah, yeah. right? But but even if I just go to, they'll they'll get it, get it. Just that's the insider thing. Is New Year's in February? All right. So say Happy New Year to all your Asian friends in February. And, and don't and, even qualify it with no Gregorian versus lunar solar qualifications or anything. <laughs> just say Happy New Year. Mid February. <laughs> All right, you guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.